look at the size of those paw prints. Honestly, we'd probably never know that they're there if they do decide to come and check us out. Oh, he's swimming right into some rocks. No, 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 no. We cannot lose this fish, guys. Oh, oh. You guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm up at the mountain fishing farm, getting ready to head out to a mountain lake filled with giant trout. We're gonna catch a monster trout today and do a monster Lahontan trout catch and cook. <laughs> oh, I know, good morning, big boys. As you can see, we have some animals to take care of though first before we can go fishing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just let uh, all the goats out. We gotta take them down to the pasture uh, real fast so that they can eat a little bit of food. Winter is coming, so I'm trying to make sure that these guys here get nice and plump uh, before it gets cold. That way, well, you know, they'll have a nice belly to keep them warm. Oh man, look at these guys. These are uh, my two roosters. Uh, and these guys here live with the goats. They're, well, let's just say they're not very nice to the hens. <laughs> and they're big boys, they're really big boys. So they uh, get to hang out with the goats there. We're gonna feed them real quick too. Here come the guineas right there. We gotta let the chickens uh, and the ducks out real fast too. All right, everyone, come on out. Come on out, girls. <laughs> All right, ducks, you guys go into your area over there. Come on. <laughs> All right. The ducks, they have uh, their own pen over there. Uh, usually if I'm here, I just kind of let them free range and stuff, but because we have all the predators here, I got to keep them in their safe zone. Uh, but the ducks have to be separate uh, from the chickens because what they'll do is they'll jump into the chicken's water and they poop in it and stuff. The ducks, they, they're really cute, but they're really gross too. <laughs> I love the ducks. Oh, no, 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 no. The goats are trying to come in here. The, they want to come in and eat the chicken food. And I'm seeing there's a couple, the guineas just lay their eggs like all over uh, the place. Like, look at this. That's a guinea egg right there. They're tiny. There's another one. I don't know why the guineas just lay their eggs in the corner here. The chickens lay their eggs like good girls inside the actual nesting boxes. Gotta make sure I don't break off my poles. Uh, but here, look, <laughs> look at that freakishly big uh, chicken egg right there. And uh, yeah, they just lay inside there. But the guineas are little rebels. They like laying all over the place. How about we take those guys uh, to the lake with us and we'll use that as a nice breakfast. I haven't had anything to eat yet today. Here's our little catch and cook kit, completely ready for catching a big Lahontan that we're gonna fry up together. Oh, hello everyone. Hi, Rainbow. Hi, Bobber. Those are eggs, you guys. Those are eggs. I don't think that goats eat eggs. Wow, they're really, really interested in the eggs. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty much being mugged right now. All right, breakfast is secured. Bobber, what do you think, huh? My goodness, little boy. When you grab him and you give him a nice belly scratch, see his tail wag like that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hello, it's sister. Hi, sister. Hello. Bobber, what are you doing with the bobber? No, no, don't eat the bobber. No, mister, mister, no, no. Come on, little boy, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Come on, rainbow. Bobber. Good boy. Rainbow, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? All right, we gotta take them down uh, to the big pasture uh, real quick behind the shop. That's where there's still a lot of grass. Rainbow, oh my goodness. Rainbow, not on camera. <laughs> Come on, sisters. Uh, Brookie keeps trying to drink milk from mama but she's gotta stop doing that because mama needs to plump up a little bit more for winter. But she loves that milk though. I know, I know, they'll stop drinking your milk soon. You can tell the goats are ready. Are you ready? All right, come on babies, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> Gotta go under the fence. Oh. Oh. 
All right. Woo. As you guys can see, I cleaned up the range area here a little bit. This bench here is now exactly at 100 yards to the target area back there. And something that we got to do uh, anyways is do some range improvements here. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you guys have any good ideas for the NWFS range. The target stand I've got down there right now is like really dilapidated. It's kind of started to fall apart. <laughs> let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, I should build out here and we'll do it together in one of the future episodes. What we're gonna do is put some measurement uh, markings onto our net so that we can actually see how big these trout are because there's a good chance that we might catch a PB trout up at this lake today. All right, lay the net down. And how long is this net here? From there to the end of the handle, it's 23 inches. Guys, are we gonna catch a trout over 23 inches? That's 18. Okay, we got the net marked with uh, 18 inches right there. 18, we're only allowed to keep one trout over 18 inches. But that is the goal today, boys and girls, is to catch a trout somewhere in this, this marker area right there, and we're gonna eat them. I just realized with those eggs, what would go really good uh, with that for breakfast would be some potatoes. And I have this pot right here uh, where a random potato plant just grew. I have no idea, it's already frozen and stuff, guys, so this could be a total bust in here. Oh, come on, just like one potato. Oh, I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at, oh, it's a purple potato. Look at that, it's a purple, purple potato. That's beautiful. There's another one. There's another, oh, that's a good sized potato, guys. There's more. There, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That guinea down there is just like, he's singing to us. <laughs> that's a happy guinea. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Two more beautiful. <laughs> purple potatoes oh the goats are coming I think they probably filled their bellies man just look at the vibrant color of these beautiful uh, purple potatoes man, potatoes and eggs that's gonna be a breakfast of champions right there yeah, I just want to pick up the uh, fly pole from the shop real quick we could definitely fly fish with the bobber rod but uh it's been a while since we used the, used the fly pole, so why not uh, give that a shot too? Here we are. Yeah, I think we'll take this here with us to the lake. Ah. All right, let's get back to the lake and See if we can catch a fish of our dreams. <laughs> man, those goats, they've just become my little babies. They uh, love to play now. And uh, man, it's absolutely adorable. The mountains are foggy out here this morning. It's almost a little bit eerie. That could be a good sign though for, for the lake of monsters. Maybe something wild's about to happen up there. I don't know. Swans out on the lake. Wow, I haven't seen a swan in forever. Look at that. There's, uh, I think, two adult swans with uh, a juvenile swan over there. Man, I didn't even notice this here yesterday. There's the remnants of an old boat launch uh, right here. Maybe we could take the kayak here one day. And since this is so close to the mountain farm, we should just be here like all the time, catching big monster trout. All right, we've got uh, the bullet lure and uh, the fly rod right here. Bullet lure is already ready to go, but this guy here in the last episode was already catching lots of trout. So I'm really curious if we can catch him 
on the fly. I've got a couple of flies that I want to try out. Let's take a look at the flies that we're going to use. We got one for sure. Guys, the Thin Mint, man, this baby here should do really good. We still got to debarb it. We have to fish barbless uh, in the lake here. But then look at this. I have this little, <laughs> a little mouse fly. Judging by the size of those trout, if they're willing to feed at the surface, maybe we can catch one on the mouse. <laughs> man, it's more like a baby mouse. All, right, all our tag ends just into the tackle box there. Don't want to leave those out here. And then we're going to pinch this mouse's barb. The baby mouse barb. There we go. Bullet lure and fly rod ready to go. Got our marked net. Oh man, hopefully we'll catch a giant, huh? All right. So what I'm thinking is uh, we just throw the fly a little bit right here um, by this old boat launch and see if we can't get a bite right there. Oh, I think I just saw one surface uh, right here right behind me. Uh, so if he surfaced, maybe we've got a chance at catching him with that mouse. He was right there, right there uh, in front of us. So uh, tell you what, we're gonna try out <laughs> that little mouse fly first thing. What we're doing with the mouse fly is just kind of twitching it in like that. That way it looks like it's at the surface trying to swim back to shore. But let's try and we got to get it further out there. There's one that surfaced a little further out. And guys, they're active at the surface. This, how crazy would that be? The mouse is nice and heavy, making it a little easier uh, to cast way out there. I'm still practicing those far uh, casts with the fly. Come on, baby. Just a little, little baby mouse trying to get to shore. Hopefully there's no, no big trout lurking underneath. Okay, let's go ahead and just try and throw that bullet lure after that trout uh, that was out there. Maybe we can get a bite. Yeah, a little bit better casting distance. I'm still practicing the whole fly cast. Um, what we're just gonna do is super fast retrieve. These are really, really active trout. They wanna chase something. You know, what I'm actually thinking is that we explore uh, that shoreline right there before uh, we continue out to the cliffs. That looks really juicy back there too. So let's just go ahead and take a, take a quick look back there. Make just a couple of casts. Man, it is super shallow over here though, guys. It's only like five inches deep maybe, if that, three inches deep. Oh, there's a little creek coming in right here. Oh man, I don't know if there would be any trout in these shallows. It's so beautiful though. Ooh, look at this. We actually have a substantial creek coming out here. Let's see if there's anything swimming around in it. Nothing in the creek, but sometimes where an outflow uh, like this, uh, this spot right here could contain uh, some trout. There's kind of like a sand bank right here. If we could cast just uh, past that, which the bullet lure should get us out there, Maybe there could be a hungry trout lurking right there where it drops off and gets deep. Oh yeah, right there, right there, baby. How deep is it there? Ooh, it's not deep at all. <laughs> Maybe a foot deep or something.
think we're gonna go over uh, to the other side there, but whew, man, just soak this in. That is just an unreal view right here. Oh man, the water's so clear that I'm just kind of sight fishing for him right now, seeing if we can uh, see one cruise along the beach. This is where we caught uh, the, the really big one, that first trout in the last episode was right here. But uh, what we're just gonna do is we're gonna continue down the beach because I feel like it got better. We caught far more of them out there in the deeper water. I'm getting really hungry too. We're gonna have to make a little bit of that breakfast. You know what, I just, I can't resist. Let's just do, how about like just a couple of casts with the bolt lure. Okay. And remember, we're just gonna let this baby sink all the way to the bottom. Sinking, sinking. There we go, we're on the bottom. Then we're gonna keep the rod tip low. And we wanna keep that lure as uh, far down as possible. Nice fast retrieve. Come on, baby. All right, one more cast and then we'll continue down the beach, <laughs> get over to those cliffs there. I think that's where we're gonna have our luck is uh, further out there. Really like to get one on the fly though, that would be really cool. All right, this here's the spot. I believe we're right under uh, this cliff here and then this little Little cove right here. That's what was holding all of those trout. Let's set up camp right here. Okay, time to make just a little cup of coffee. It's a little chilly, a little chilly, even with the beautiful sun. Uh, giving us a little bit of warmth right now, but some warmth in the belly will feel really good too. Man, look how clean this water is. Don't need to filter it at all. There we go. So they went, while we wait for that coffee to boil, let's just make a couple of casts with the mouse here. Okay, no bites on the mouse yet, but that's okay because we got some rolling, boiling water right here. Let's pop in a little bit of some instant coffee. There we go. Oh yes, not gonna be shy at all. Oh no, 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 don't, don't boil over. Look how frothy that is, whoo. Yeah, take a look at that. Oh yes, a nice dark cup. Oh, I can't even touch it yet, it's really hot. <laughs> Gonna set the cup right here into half an inch of water just to chill it for a second. Mm. Just a couple of casts with the bullet lure while we wait for that coffee to cool. Down at the bottom. Nice quick retrieve. There in front of us, I saw him. I saw him coming. There's a fish on, baby. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. He didn't even. 
It didn't even look real for a second. That's a beautiful trout, guys. <laughs> it barely fits into the net. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that was crazy. The lure, I was just watching the lure come in and I see the shadow come by and it was just like, I was so like zoned out <laughs> for a second that I didn't realize that's a trout going for it. And I could see him just open his mouth and just slurped it in. Man, you guys, that one there, he's 19 inches, but he kind of choked the bullet lure. He's a monster, definitely a monster trout. Uh, oh man, I wanted to keep a bigger one though. If he's over, but it, cause he's over 18 inches, we're probably gonna keep him just because I just, it wouldn't be a clean release. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep that fish right there. That is a monster. <laughs> that is definitely a monster. But we're gonna keep fishing for an even bigger one and that'll be a catch and release then. Put this guy uh, right to sleep and uh, we're gonna eat this fish right here. I just feel right about keeping uh, the trout that uh, is hooked a little worse. He choked that bullet lure pretty good. All, all of the hooks uh, went into his mouth, but man, just look at that beautiful Lahontan cutthroat trout. You can see the red markings right there. Uh, that's what shows that it's a cutthroat. Oh, baby. It's a beautiful fish, actually. They have uh, spots all over on the belly there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, my friend. You're gonna make a wonderful, wonderful meal for us out here. Definitely one of the biggest trout that I have ever caught. Well, cheers, guys. First fish. Oh, the coffee tastes really weird. <coughs> oh, it's almost undrinkable. It tastes almost like salty or the alkalinity in this lake, I believe is very high. Yeah, I think it's, you can taste the alkalinity in the lake itself. Man, you guys, I, I've never done this before, but <laughs> we're gonna have to dump that. This is absolutely unpalatable. I don't even know if it's safe to drink this water here. Maybe like in a survival situation, but even then, I don't know what like a super high alkalinity uh, content in the water will do to your health. I don't even know how these trout live in there. Ah, oh, man, I was so looking forward to a nice cup of coffee, but that's okay. That, that trout totally makes up for it. Man, just look at that fish, guys. Look at that monster, monster trout. That is such a, I mean, just look at that. 19 inches, baby. 19 inch cutthroat trout. What we're gonna do is uh, move up there to the sun. It got really, really cold. Make sure we didn't leave anything behind. Looking good. All right, guys, we are uh, now gonna go over <gasps> into uncharted waters. And look at these tracks right here. Uh, dude, look at the size of those paw prints. They're like the size of my hand. And I've got big hands, guys. Yeah, those are fresh prints and there's several of them. There are wolves. Uh, in this area here, a lot of them actually. There's also bears, mountain lions. And let me know in the comments what you believe these prints are here. They look uh, definitely kind of wolfy. Oh man, they're giant, they're giant. We're gonna have to uh, stay very aware out here of our surroundings. Maybe we're being watched right now. Well, let's keep on going. Ooh man, it gets really nice and deep right here. Look how clear the water is. I mean, that's just beautiful. We're going to give this mouse one last try. I've kind of started to lose confidence in the mouse, but you never know. I really want to try and uh, try out that Thin Mint fly. I think we'll have a lot of luck with that. There we go. Come on, baby. Smack that mouse. Gotta be a big hungry, hungry, hungry trout down there looking at it right now. Lurking below the surface. 
What do you guys think? Are we gonna make it happen on the mouse one of these days? We, could, we totally need to keep trying out this mouse here. I know that we're gonna be able to catch one on it one day. I think what could work about the Thin Mint is that it'll slowly sink because I don't know if these trout are feeding at the surface. They might enjoy a sinking fly. A lot more there you go that baby's going down nice and slow we're not going to strip this one here this is just kind of we're imitating like an insect that fell in the water and is just kind of sinking down towards the bottom and that slowly sinking action that's what the trout just cannot resist we don't have a bobber uh, or indicator on the fly line right now Ooh, that just looked kind of like a bite so i'm just watching that yellow fly line right where it goes into the water and if I see it straighten out in that spot then we know we got a bite. I feel like right here next to this rock kind of looks like a juicy area right there. Oh yeah right there. Right there. We're kind of in the shadow and then I just uh, cast it out uh, where the sun is there. Looks like it's a really steep drop off and maybe the trout, they sometimes will, they like these points uh, where they, oh, that might've just been a bite. Might've just been a bite. Strip it for a second. But these points, they like to kind of patrol uh, those pointed areas. Let's see what's up on top of this rock here. Oh man, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful too. Look at that little cove right there. But uh, here, check this out. We can get out further into deeper water. Oh my, look at this. Ooh, man, this is nice casting from up here. Oh, I can see the fly. I mean, we are straight sight fishing right now. Watching that fly sink. All right, sinking down into that hole uh, right there. Let's see if anyone's home. Sinking, sinking. Still sinking. I just see that. Oh, he's feeding, he's feeding, actively feeding at the surface. We gotta get out some more line though, he's far out. That one is far out. Ah, oh, man, I don't know if I can cast that far. Oh, that's about as close as I can get, guys. That's as close as I can get. Come on, baby. That's a big trout out there. That's a big one. Don't know which direction it swam off into. Best we can do is just hope that he's still around. It's a really, really good sign that they're coming up here and uh, eating off of the surface. All right, I think we're down close to the bottom. Let's go ahead and give that a retrieve. Oh, nothing. I wonder if we can see any swimming around over on this side here. know that there's a hungry trout right here by this point. There's gotta be one. Oh, that was a bite, that was a bite. There we go, fish on baby, fish on. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's a nice trout. <laughs> Knew it, knew there was one. Come on baby, come on, come on. Oh. All right, there we go. Got him down to the reel. That's a big trout. Oh, I forgot the net. I forgot the net, guys. That is a beauty down there. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. I can see him in the clear water. Oh, come on, come on. If we can bring him down here to the beach. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Monster trout on the fly. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, pulling a little bit of drag. Yeah, that's a big fish, guys. That's a big one. That might, oh man, he might be bigger than that first one we just got. Oh, oh come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here. It's all right, we can't horse this guy in. Just let the drag do its job. We're fishing really light leader here, guys. Really light leader. Uh, so if he rubs up against anything, he could break us right off. Luckily, I'm not seeing. Ooh, that didn't feel good. Maybe that he's either wrapped or touched a rock there. Come on in. Come on in. There we go. We got his head turned around. He's facing us. I can see him. I can see him. He's right there. He's right there. Barely moving. Barely moving. It's just he's so big that the weight of the fish itself makes it hard to reel in. <laughs> oh no, he popped off! He popped off! <laughs> oh man, he did not want to come in. That was a, that was a brute of a trout. That's okay, barbless hook. Clean release, baby. Ah, that could have been probably my PB trout uh, right there. That was a huge fish. Very subtle bite though. I, I thought I saw a bite and then I was like, is he still on there? And I could slowly see the line moving. That's crazy. Man. Ooh, I could feel that in my arm, guys. That was a huge trout. Huge trout. That probably was a PB right there. I almost guarantee that was a PB trout. He was probably between 20, 22 inches. Let's just check our leader. These trout, when they get big like that, they have uh, teeth that can uh, break your, or they can weaken your leader. So just want to check it real quick. Everything looks good. I just brought all the gear uh, over here. We're gonna post up on uh, this rock here for just a little bit, but man, we're gonna crack a couple of eggs because I am absolutely starving uh, right now. I'm just gonna butter that pan just a little bit for those eggs. There we go, get that pan nice and buttery. We're just gonna slice in that uh, potato. Man, look at the color of that. It is so purple on the inside. It's vibrant and beautiful. Man, the smell is amazing. Those potatoes smell kind of sweet. All right, let's go ahead and crack in some guinea eggs. <laughs> the shell on guinea eggs is so hard. It's ridiculous. It's a very thick shell. They're very hard to crack, actually. This egg is completely just coming apart on me. Of course, a piece of shell fell in there. I don't quite think those two guinea eggs are gonna do it. We're gonna have to crack that chicken egg, too. Oh, double baby, double yoker. <laughs> Look at that, that's, that's why that egg was so big. It was hiding two yolks in there for us, fantastic. Oh man, perfect. It's no longer breakfast, boys and girls. It's kind of like brunch or honestly past brunch time. <laughs> it's like a late lunch right now, late lunch. So we'll enjoy this. Oh man, let's just try a little bit of these potatoes right now. I'm super excited about the potato. Mm, crispy. That is a sweet tasting potato. Are purple potatoes like a sweet potato? You just know that that uh, potato is gonna go with a guinea egg so good. Potato and a guinea egg right there. Hot. Let's go ahead and dig into that double Double chicken egg. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit of potato, some chicken egg right there. This here's just gonna give a little bit of warmth and energy to keep going because I still wanna try and continue fishing this bay right here uh, along with just from the rocks. Uh, I'd really still like to get one on the fly. That, oh man, can't believe that we lost that one. That was a beautiful big trout. That was a huge, huge one. Farm, fresh goodness, right here. All right, let's see if we can't uh, 
pick another one up right here. Right here in this little cove. Right around there, that's where uh, that one bit actually was a little further out. There's one feeding right here. Dropped it right on him. It was a giant that just came out of the water to feed. Come on, baby. There we go, fish on. Fish on, he took it. He took it. Oh my goodness. There's another giant, guys. Another giant. Oh, he's so beautiful. So colorful. All right, nice and easy. We're gonna have to, this time we've got our net right here. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Now he knows he's hooked. He's fighting now. Oh. oh the colors on him are beautiful, guys. He's got uh, these pink uh, colored sides. Way darker fish. Okay. We got to play this one really, really carefully. We cannot lose this fish, guys. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, cutthroat. I want to see him so badly. This might be a PB trout, guys. Might be a PB. So. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't want to oh, don't want to fall in the water. Okay, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is a strong fish. Oh, he's swimming right into some rocks. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. Give him a little bit of space there. Okay, he's out. He's out. There's uh this weird stone pillar down there that he just swam behind. Oh, Oh! oh, he's making runs, guys. He's making runs. He's actually got us out there quite a ways now. Oh. Since we don't have a barb on that hook, we have to keep constant pressure on him. We cannot let that line go slack. My goodness. Guys, th this is the hardest fighting of all of them here yet. Come on, baby. Man, my wrist is getting really tired. <laughs> oh, he's right in front of us, right in front of us. Right here. He's right <laughs> there he is, there he is. Hooked perfectly. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh, in the net. In the net, oh. Oh, oh, he's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this fish. Okay, we're just keeping this fish here in the water. Uh, let's see, the fly uh, already popped out. That's perfect. And uh, man, let's just get him right back in. Right back in. <sighs> oh, I didn't measure him. I didn't measure him. That's okay. He was, he was under 20. He was under 20, probably about... Uh, uh, very similar size as the other one, but way darker in color. And uh, it's probably good that we kept the other one because uh, that one was is lighter in color. So the meat generally on the lighter colored fish will be more red. Uh, the darker colored ones uh, generally have more white meat and they often don't taste as good. On the Thin Man, baby. <sighs> Thank you, little guy, for catching us such a beautiful beautiful trout that was just amazing i mean he just i don't know if you guys could see it on the the camera but he surfaced like right there and we cast on him and it sank maybe down four feet or something and that's where he picked it up that was absolutely amazing and probably man that's close to the biggest uh fish i have ever caught 
on the fly for sure. I think the only one that might be bigger, I'd have to double check the footage, was a couple of years ago, uh, I filmed an episode up at a mountain lake where I caught some monsters uh, on the fly. I wanna just see what's going on over here. Let's just kinda slowly fish our way through this cove right here and uh, see what we can find. Oh man, right here by this rock. This looks perfect. Look how beautiful this spot here is. Ooh, down here there's uh, several tree trunks uh, underwater. That's uh, definitely a sketchy spot to potentially get stuck in, but it's also a great spot for trout to kind of hide out. So maybe there's a trout lurking down there that we can kind of, you know, entice to bite the fly. Oh man, we can see so perfectly from up here. I can see the fly sinking. There's no way that there's not a trout here. This spot here is so fishy looking. Ooh, we're way out there. There's a bite. There is fish on, baby. Fish on. Nice one. Nice one. Really nice one. Oh, you can see him down there. You can see him. I got to reel in all this fly line. Oh, it's a beautiful trout. Another beautiful, beautiful. Oh, the head shakes. <laughs> this is a chromy looking one. It almost looks like a beautiful rainbow trout. Oh my goodness. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Guys, this is so fun. Fly fishing has just been this thing I've been learning for the last few years and I've kind of made it a mission to just try it more. I feel like the more often you just commit to fly fishing and keep trying, the better you get. The temptation is real to just switch to the bullet lure because we know it works. But at this point I've gotten confident enough uh, in the fly that I'm willing to just keep fishing it and, and look at that, there he is. Oh, look at that beautiful fish. Not as much fight as the last one. Uh, still a very powerful, powerful fish. We got to be easy on it. Actually looks like a female. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come here, come here. Oh, oh in the net and out of the net and back into the net. <laughs> look at that gorgeous trout. My goodness. All oh, the colors on that fish. That is a beautiful healthy looking fish the fly already popped right out so we don't even need to handle the fish that's what's nice about those barbless hooks and uh let's see if we can get a length on her i really don't want to handle her at all let's make sure that if we do have to that our hand is just nice and wet all right let's just see lengthwise where she's at now you can see this fish is just so powerful uh you know what? we don't need to measure her let's just go ahead and get her out of the net while she's nice and strong. There she goes. And my boot got in the water, it's all wet. This one's definitely no longer waterproof. Dude. Oh, this is some of the best fishing of my life here right now. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this is right by the farm. This is crazy. Just take another look at this beautiful monster trout right here. I'm just gonna clean this baby up and uh, cook us a little bit of trout dinner here. I'm curious to see what uh, these trout here uh, are feeding on. I'm just gonna take a look inside the belly here. Ooh. Ooh, it's very digested, but that's actually a small, uh, a little fish. Its stomach is uh, pretty empty. Oh, there's some tiny, tiny, tiny little shrimp. Here, look at that. That's a little itty bitty freshwater shrimp. Um, maybe some kind of fly, very hard to tell. It's already half digested. 
So you could probably catch them on some itty bitty, tiny, tiny flies. Yeah, this trout here is so big that we can pull out the liver. I wonder if we could eat that. This right here, that's the trout uh, liver right there. I've never had trout liver before. Why don't we try that out? Now on a smaller trout, if you were cooking it whole, you would still remove that dark line uh, in the back of the fish. That's the fish's kidney. All you would need to do is score it and then you can push it out uh, with your fingers and then just rinse it one more time. But what we're gonna do with this fish here is just fillet off a little piece and then at home I'll fillet out the rest of it. All right, filleting the fish is really easy. All we gotta do is just cut right there behind the uh, collar. Then we're gonna take probably about this much off of the fish here. One cut through the pin bones. There you go, take that fillet right off the ribs. Look at this nice, juicy trout fillet. It's got a little bit of salmon-y color. It's a little pink and orange in the meat, which is amazing. Just gonna get a little more butter into that pan there, perfect. All right, then we got one onion right here. We're going all the way today, baby, all the way. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of that onion into the pan there. All right, I had to just move down here to the beach. There was a bit of a breeze that picked up and it kept blowing out my flame. So um, I think the spot here, we're a little more sheltered from the wind. That'll make cooking a lot easier. All right, and with those onions, I've got a mushroom right here that we're just gonna slice up in there as well. Oh, the first piece like didn't even go in the pan. Back over here. Look at all that mushroom into the pan. It's gonna add a ton of flavor. If you guys are wondering, by the way, why I'm all scruffy, uh, it's because it's November, no shave November, baby. We're gonna see how far I can grow out the scruff before I shave it all off again. Oh man, that smells amazing. Right, let's get that piece of trout liver in there, see what that tastes like. Make a little bit of room for that. Oh, I just heard something. It sounded like a yelp of a coyote or a wolf or something. Oh man. Maybe they smell the food. Do wolves like trout liver or do they like butter? It came from up there somewhere. Man, I hope that's only coyotes and not wolves. Let's keep an eye out on that horizon up there. If they did come to check us out, they would stand there and stare down at us. Honestly, we'd probably never know that they're there if they do decide to come and check us out. All right, since this fish is really, really fresh and it's gonna wanna curl on us, we're just gonna make a few scores in the skin and that'll just kinda help, help uh, prevent that curling just a little bit. We'll also infuse a lot of the flavor of the butter into the meat. We're gonna put it skin side down first. There we go. Okay, you guys know what's up. Right here we got us a nice big avocado. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Nice and smooth, but yet firm. Man, the onions and mushrooms are starting to get uh, nice and browned exactly how we want them. All right, there's one more thing that we gotta put onto our trout. And that's a little bit of Danish sea salt right there. God. Here we go, here we go, baby. Let's go ahead and get just a little bit of salt. Oh, here we go. There we go. I put that lid onto the trout there to steam it uh, just a little bit. So what I'm probably gonna do in the next few episodes is do some updates here at the mountain fishing farm. We gotta work on that range together. Plus, we also need to head back out to the desert compound and fish those small desert creeks for the monster rainbows. And there's also tiger trout in there. And of course, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss all of those adventures coming up. Road to one million, baby. Join the NWFS family. Man, can't wait. Oh man, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this trout here. We gotta flip it. I think that skin should be nice and crispy. Oh, it's golden brown. This is almost done here, guys. Almost done. Don't wanna overcook it, but we also never wanna eat trout raw. Always make sure that you cook your trout all the way.
gonna have to come back out here. There's more shoreline to explore and I still wanna catch a giant. I wanna catch like a 24 inch plus trout, maybe a 30 incher, just a monster. There, there's huge, huge trout in here, but we're just gonna have to keep chasing them. And uh, that's probably something we can do all winter long. All right, that trout for sure is done. Oh, look at that color, it's beautiful. Golden brown, baby. All right, boys and girls, it's about to get serious here. There we go, some cheese in the pan first. <laughs> there we go. And right here we have some organic flour tortillas. Oh yes. Now, if you're thinking life, why would you put the cheese in the pan first? Well, guys, the cheese and the tortilla, they have become one. Look at that, baked on, nice and crispy. <laughs> All right, man, it's been a long time, guys, since we've made a proper uh, trout taco. Just get a little bit of everything on there. All right, let's get this avocado out of its peel here. We're just gonna get the whole thing out. There we go. Oh, yes. Every last bit of it. Man, look at that trout taco right there. The trout is so crispy looking. In fact, I'm just gonna take a bite of just the trout. I wanna see what it tastes like. Mmm. I was worried with the way that the coffee tasted earlier that the trout would somehow taste like alkaline or something, but that was fantastic. That's a very tasty trout. Very mild, not fishy at all, not even trouty. It's almost like a piece of cod. Wait a second, here's uh, that uh, trout liver. I just wanted to taste that by itself. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes kind of like eggs, actually. It tastes a lot like the trout eggs taste. Wow, not bad. I actually like it. Cheers. Thank you to all you guys sticking around till the very end. Man, here we go. It's trout taco heaven. Once again, guys, it's perfection. I haven't done this recipe in way too long. This is like an OG meal. The first thing that just hits you is the crisp of that cheese. It's so crunchy. It just adds such a great element. And then that trout, just a very subtle, subtle flavor right there again with the trout. It's almost sweet, but the sweetness is probably coming more from the caramelized onions and then the mushrooms give it that awesome earthy undertone. The avocado is so healthy. It's filled with healthy oils. The trout has healthy oils, lots of protein. Mm. I'm trying to make sure I don't have like food stuck in my mustache. That's the one problem with No Shave November. Man, the trout are still surfacing everywhere behind me. Mm. All right, I'm all packed up. It's getting pitch black out, so I gotta get out of here, but that's all I got uh, for you guys in this episode. Remember to drop a like on this video here if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the comment section. Of course, subscribe if you're still brand new. I love you guys, and uh, we'll see you all very soon for the next fishing adventure, and until then, you all know it. Fish on, baby.